Hey there everyone, my name is JW, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another awesome tank tutorial for you, but first we're going to mention the Discord server slash tanky yard. If you're interested in receiving a shout out at the start of the video or requesting a build to be built, look no further than the tanky yard. There are two ways of joining. One, leave your gamer tag down below in the comment section of this video. Or two, join the Discord server and put your gamer tag in that way so you can have an ability to request a tutorial. And what gamer tags am I looking for? Well, I'm looking for your Java, Bedrock, Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo gamer tag, and you'll be entered into the tank yard here to receive a shout out at the start of the video and be amongst the other tankers that have also gotten their names shouted out. So it's a real fun thing, and remember, you have to specify which platform you're playing on. So with that said, let's get into it. And today, we are building this, the M36B1 American World War II. A uh, tank destroyer. They basically put the Jackson turret on top of a Sherman and said, ah, that'll do. So, let's go do it. So, we're going to America again today. And let's get down there and get building. And here we are at the M36B1. So, let's get into it. So, today you'll be needing polished andesite, stone brick slabs, stone brick stairs, stone stairs, stone slabs, green terracotta, andesite wall, and white concrete. All right, once you find the spot to build it in, well, let's get started. I'm going to start with one, two, three, four, five, six. Skip three, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Next, stone brick slabs. We're going to do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next, we're going to put placeholders in the front. One, two, slab. And slab. There we go. Next, we're going to put upside down stone stairs and stone brick stairs in the back. One, two. Next, we're going to add upright. One, two, three, four. Next, green terracotta blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next, we're going to put polished andesite blocks on here. Then upside down stone stairs on the back of the green blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lastly, we're going to place stone brick slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there you have it. You completed the track section and suspension system. So we can get rid of these materials here. Now remember folks, if I'm going too fast for you, you can always pause, rewatch, rewind, and do whatever you need to do to get this tank into your world. It's an awesome tank, I guarantee you that. Alright, let's continue. So starting at the front, we're going to do one, two, three, like that, of upside down stone stairs. Next, we're going to fill in the floor, which is very simple and easy. There we go. Next, we're going to take our green terracotta blocks and do a full circle around the perimeter. Like that. Next, we're going to place one block here with stone stairs on each side of it going across. On the back, we're going to do a full row. Next, we're going to do upside down stone stairs right here. Now we're going to connect the sides. And you can remove these two blocks and put stone slabs. So you have something that looks like this. Alright, next. We're going to do one, two, three. Like that. Followed by a row of stairs right behind it. There we go. Next, we're going to add three on each side of the green blocks. One, two, three. One, two, three. Next, a stone slab. Stone stairs, I mean. One, two. Next, two stone slabs. One, two. One, two. Now we're going to do green blocks here with slabs on top. There we go. Alright, next we're going to add 
wall right here separating the engine all the way up and over there we go and you're gonna add stone stairs right here there we go and that will complete the hole and now we add the turret so for the turret we're gonna add stone stairs on each side next six green blocks one two three four five six and then stone stairs three upside down and three upright so you get this shape here next stone slabs one two like so next white concrete block one two followed by a green com like concrete block like green terracotta one two and then upside down stone stairs one two and the upright stairs one two three now here we're going to do one stair and then two tw to twist it one stair and then one two all right next we're going to do one placeholder and bring it over and then do two blocks like that two there and two there and lastly we're going to place our anazit wall right here and that will complete the turret for now so we can get rid of all those materials and now we can start our cosmetic materials and for cosmetic materials we're gonna need iron trapdoor dark oak trapdoor flower pot oak sign and rod birch button green carpet ladder and dark oak button dark oak buttons are gonna go on your road wheels and sprocket just like that ladders next which are gonna go right here on your suspension next your birch button on your white concrete blocks all right next we'll do the iron trap doors which will add a 90 millimeter gun and we're gonna need our stone slabs again so one two three four five six and double that up and then stone slab one two there we go and then one two three one two three four five one two three one two three four five one two three and one two three there we go now we're going to take our green blocks again and let's see put one here followed by two slabs there we go and then right here we're going to do one two one and two there we go so we'll remember to keep your stone slabs still we're going to do oak trap doors one two three four five six seven there we go flower pot we're gonna put one flower pot here and then two right here all right oak sign we're gonna do one two three four five six all right let's get some few more materials which will be uh, dried kelp block, light gray carpet, dark oak fence gate, anvil, and more stone brick stairs. So the stone brick stairs are going to go hanging off right here as spare tracks. And dried kelp blocks, one, two, three. And one material I forgot to add would be the heavy weighted pressure plate, which goes one, two. All right, so our anvil is going to go right here. We'll put a stone slab off to the left of it. Dark oak fence gate right here and open. And also, oh, that's a little too far down. There we go. And one right there. Also on the side of the turret, one, two. And one, two. There we go. Like red carpet on top of the anvil. Remember to crouch to place this. And a green carpet right here. Also right here. And then two right here. One right there. And then down here. 
like so. Alright, an end rod. We're going to put one end rod right here. And one on the 50. There we go. Alrighty. And then lastly, we have our item frames, glass pane, and black concrete. So, item frames here and here with glass panes in them. And then one right here with black concrete. And there you guys go. You have successfully completed the M36B1 US World War II tank destroyer. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button wherever they're going to go to. Hit that subscribe button as well. I love a new addition to my bundle of wonderful subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much for doing what you do. Liking, subscribing, and sharing and all that really means a lot to me. means a lot to the channel. means a lot to the community. Speaking of community, don't forget to join the Discord server. Link is down in the description for you to come chat, join, hang out, post your videos, post your memes, post your pictures, post funny stuff. I like seeing funny stuff. I like funny cat videos and funny animal videos. It's been too long since I've seen one, so... Go on the Discord server and post one. And with that said, remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! <laughs>